The scientists say they may have solved the central problem of gene therapy, how to get the right gene to switch on at the right time. Working in Cleveland, Ohio, they've done it by using nature's own control system, the chromosome. Oh, this ranks uh, right up there as one of those eureka moments. It is mind-boggling, but it is, a, uh, in fact, a, a fairly logical way of proceeding when the difficulty is to, to work with a single gene, and yet nature's way of dealing with genes is to work with chromosomes. Their synthetic version is about a fifth the size of the real thing, a microchromosome. To make it, they insert bits of a chromosome into a human cell, and the cell arranges them into a working unit. As the cell divides, the microchromosome replicates itself. Genetic material, DNA, is packaged in chromosomes. To treat a patient, a working copy of the defective gene will be inserted into the artificial chromosome. The chromosome will be injected into a cell from the patient. The cell will be copied in a test tube millions of times over. This batch of cells will be injected into the patient, carrying the working gene. I think this is very exciting. It's, it's another stepping stone in being able to really get gene therapy into the clinic. The most obvious short-term application is for diseases where the genetics is relatively simple. A single gene that's gone wrong. Haemophilia, disease of blood clotting, cystic fibrosis, a disease in which infection predominates in the lung. Um, diabetes, where the blood sugar is not regulated properly. These are the sorts of things that one would see as the first line. But then all sorts of other possibilities come. Uh, cancer is a big one, AIDS, uh, HIV diseases, and even infectious disease. All could be manipulated using this type of technology. In diseases like cystic fibrosis, the faulty gene produces a faulty protein. The problem has been delivering a working copy in such a way that it produces the right protein. The discovery should make that possible. The synthetic chromosomes come complete with their own control systems. They act like minute protein factories. In many diseases, it's the protein that's the problem. Cystic fibrosis, haemophilia, all these diseases, the protein is not working. What we can do is make a little protein factory in the cell somewhere in the patient. And that, if one can have the right control sequences, allow you to get a continual release of active protein that will work and essentially cure the disease. Haemophilia affecting 1 in 10,000 means a lifetime's treatment with the blood clotting agent factor 8, the risk of infection by blood-borne diseases like AIDS and hepatitis, and a drug bill of £100,000 a year for a single patient. Gene therapy offers the hope of a once-and-for-all cure, but the scientists warn the work is still experimental. There are many miles to travel, of course, uh, between these first-generation artificial chromosomes, as we call them, and ultimately applying this technology in gene therapy. The next step will be to inject the artificial chromosomes directly into the body,